Uh, the most shocking fact about pancreatitis is that uh, it's a disease where the pancreas literally digests itself. So the pancreas produces powerful digestive enzymes like trypsinogen and lipase that are designed to break down fats, proteins into small intestine. Under normal conditions, there is, these enzymes are produced and stored in inactive form and are only activated once they are safely reach the duodenum. In acute pancreatitis, something goes wrong. Actually, we don't know why. So something goes wrong inside the pancreas, often due to blockage from a gallstone or a damage from alcohol or a, or a actually in smokers as well. And uh, these enzymes become prematurely activated, prematurely activated while still inside the organ, i.e. pancreas. This triggers a catastrophic chain cascade reactions of autodigestion. The activated enzymes begin to break down <coughs> the very cells that created them turning the delicate pancreatic tissue, very delicate tissue, into soapy necrotic mass. So the lipase starts dissolving the own fat and around the pancreas, a process called fat necrosis, which can lead to a massive systemic inflammatory response and life-threatening complications, my beloveds. So it's a biological self-destruction. It's one of the most vivid examples of the body turning on itself in a purely chemical, non-autoimmune way. It's a biological fire in the factory. No autoimmune response always here. But anyway, it's a fire in the factory. So the pain is unparalleled. The pain of severe acute pancreatitis is often described as one of the worst pain known to medicine. A constant burning boring, boring, 10 out of 10, pain that radiates to the back. This is the sensory experience of the organ being chemically dissolved from the inside out. Uh, God forbid. It can become a systemic catastrophe. The massive inflammation from the auto-digesting pancreas doesn't stay localized. It can spill into the bloodstream, triggering a systemic inflammatory response syndrome, which can lead to multi-organ failure like acute respiratory distress syndrome and acute kidney injury and even deaths. Okay, my beloved, stay blessed.